In the last part of the experiment, I'm going to double the mass of the cart. As I said before, this cart has a mass that's a little bit above 500. You guys will uh, read the scale and get that. I'm going to put a 500 gram mass on, and I'm going to also put the additional mass. And so I've effectively doubled the mass of this cart. And then we're going to uh, measure the velocity again. Hopefully you guys realize that it, if this spring is pushing with the same amount of force, which it tends to do, and I'll turn this on, the uh, velocity of the cart should go slower because the spring is uh, pushing more weight. So it was roughly 0 .63, 616263, and I'll pull, and it was about, that's 0 .33. Reset. Point three four. Reset. Point three two. Reset. Point three one. Reset. Point three three, and this is the last one. Reset and pull. All right, point three two for that one. All right, guys. In this part of the experiment, you are going to predict what happens if I put this card here, and it's going to be an elastic collision and you are to predict what happens when I pull this this time. The last time, since these had equal mass, all of the momentum were transferred from this cart to that cart. This cart stopped. This cart kept going. And for this part of the experiment, uh, if I were to pull this, you would see something different, and you guys should be able to figure that out, and we will hopefully give you enough information to do so. So that's the last part of the experiment, that you guys will predict what happens, and you'll make some uh, qualitative as well as quantitative uh, measurements or at least comments about this.